So one of the things I love about photography and videography is that I feel like I learn something new every single time I pick up the camera. And even after two years, I still feel like I'm just barely at the foot of the metaphorical mountain. And it's quite possible that I am. And that's totally fine, because often when the learning stops, the fun stops. Now last week I got invited to learn how to shoot a specific kind of B-roll from someone I've been following for quite some time now. Hello! Probably you know me from my channel, that is uh, Peter Lindgren. Or maybe you know me better like this. So yeah, I'm meeting up with Peter Lindgren, who has been killing the YouTube game lately, and is an absolute beast at making those juicy B-rolls. So I went to Sweden to meet up with Peter at his studio, and you know this feeling that you can have if you're gonna meet someone for the first time, and you're wondering if they're the same off-camera as they are on-camera? I mean, I can even be nice for 10 minutes. What the fuck is going on with this shirt? But let me assure you, Peter is exactly the same on and off camera. Just a genuine guy all around. Hello! How's it going, Julian? I'm doing good. I'm a bit, I'm a bit I wouldn't say nervous, but excited in a good way. Like the good chills. Okay, okay. Let me stop you right there, Julian. I know for a fact that you were nervous. And it's because, in the back of your mind, you're thinking 200,000 plus subscribers are gonna look at you while you mess up. But anyways, what is your plan for today's B-roll? I want to make the build up to fortune videos. All right, all right. When you start the day off, coming into the door, doing all your stuff till you reach down and open the laptop at get grinding, get fortune. All right, I like it, I like it. Let's do it, let's do it. And man, once we started filming, I could see how much goes into making these kinds of B-rolls. It's from holding the camera in a totally different way than I'm used to, all up to the framing, the composition, the time movement, all whilst nailing the focus. And here I could see that a lot of these things came natural to Peter because he's been doing it for a while and he's just freaking good at it. And in this video, you can see the whole process and how we ended up with this. Now tell me that doesn't look like a good b-roll sequence. I mean, especially for me, for someone who's totally a beginner in this style of filming, I'm very happy with the results and I want to thank Peter so, so, so much for inviting me over and giving new weapons to my arsenal for the future. And I know that 99% of you watching this video come from Peter's channel, so thank you so much for putting up with me as well. This has been a crazy experience and, and I've learned so much and I think that's what it's all about and especially for us filmmakers, content creators, it's all about perfecting or evolving our craft and developing. And especially in this time of chaos where there's this new C word going around, I mean, it's a perfect opportunity for us to work on our craft. So feel free to join me on my journey here on YouTube and also made a video uh, on photography hacks, which you could do at the comfort of your home. And I want to thank you all for watching. I want to thank Peter for inviting me. If you are not subscribed to Peter, please go do that and you won't regret it. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.